Hey everybody, the Bond gets back. Welcome to part two of Let's Play Musia. Now this could very well be a finale because this is actually the second last level in the entire game, fighting this boss. Now, I did find out that there were like cheats that allowed you to increase your uh, magic and your weapon power, but you need a second controller to do it, and for some reason setting it up here doesn't work. I don't know why. So we're gonna have to do it without it. So it's either that, or have to play through the entire game over, try to get to stage 7 with more weapon power-ups and scrolls, or just brute force my way to finally beat this boss. Now, if you're lucky, most of the orbitals will just avoid you on the way back. And if you're unlucky, they'll always, always hit you. And so far I've been hit by nearly every single one since starting the video. Like they never dodged me. Unless I move just a little bit. Alright, I'm just gonna redo that whole fight because that one was ass. I got the worst possible RNG. When I practiced this, I did win because barely any of the orbitals hit me. And now they pretty much all did. And that time the sword didn't even hit me. See, this is going way better. They expect you to do this fight with more weapon energy, and sadly I have little to none. I had to start a new password, and it leads you back here. There. It's finally downed. Alright, so this is the 8th and final stage, the Watery Prison. We're getting close to the end, everyone. Okay, I don't know if I got any weapon energy out of it, but at least I got lots of scrolls. I think I got no weapon energy. Wow. Talk about a string of bad luck. Well, I guess I'll have to make do with what I have. Are those turtles just making, like, grunting noises? That's kind of disturbing. It seems they shoot when they turn red, so I guess I'll be better off just ignoring them, too. I don't remember if I ever made it to the final boss, or I died before then. Hopefully I can get some, uh, weapon energy here. But at least I got plenty of scrolls. As you can see here, I'm full on all of them. Wait, are we at the end of this level already? Cool. Oh, it's just this. That's a thought that counts. Allows me to recover the 3 HP that I lost. So I guess I can't complain. Okay, I remember this level freaking me out as a kid. Because you're just, like, standing on skulls. And I've already taken lots of damage. Wow, that, that's an insane amount of damage you keep taking for the same enemies. Like, they won't just stop harassing you. And they stay out of your range, too. Oh, okay, I keep missing my footing. Oh my god, that that one enemy hit me like three or four times in a row. Can you believe this?
Yeah, what if I just don't give you any personal space ever? Thanks a lot. And I didn't even get a chance to use my healing spell. Excellent. Oh my god, that's insane! Like, it would have been okay if they didn't just come back nearly instantly. Can you believe, like, how much damage you take so fast? And I don't even know how close I am to the end of this. Oh, oh, I'm probably gonna die. Unless I use this right now. Okay, I actually made it to the end of that spot. You can't even duck under the... Oh, wait, you can duck under them. How does a tail end of a hurt box that large? Oh my god. Get on the platform, you. There we go. I had to use a high jump. Uh, hopefully there ain't bottomless pits or anything. Oh god, there's an ogre. Well, there's my weapon energy. Too bad it may not even last. I'm dead. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, as you can see, I had to use a password so my high score is reset. Oh, now you have no scrolls. Good job. <laughs> Good luck to you, I guess. Oh, no. If you get over here, they just hit you non-stop. That's not good. is nice, but it's too bad that the first enemy you hit, or you have to fight, is right next to you, so it doesn't matter. You just fall like a rock in some spots. It's ridiculous. Like, this is an early game. Like, when did this game come out? Like, 1992? So very early in the SNES's life cycle. You have to hit this, uh, one-eyed demon this way. There. I was expecting that projectile to hit me. That's how bad the hit detection is. See? Ah! I jumped too late. Oh, I jumped too early! Don't you love it when enemies are able to damage you just by touching you? And they take advantage of that just by violating your personal space the whole time. I love it. I love when I have no recourse against most of my enemies. 
Oh my god. There were two projectiles, and both of them counted as hit me. Oh, and apparently this abyss has potholes. Excellent. Okay, I think I'm pretty close to the end. Wait, are we at the boss? I think we are. Oh no, he's free! What is this? You are all that stands in the way of my reign. Let this dark cage become yours! Why is our apostrophe there? Yep, so this is the final boss. So what you have to do... You actually have to deflect the projectile that he shoots back at him. So this is where the uh, A attack really shines. I'm guessing touching his head will also hurt you, so don't do that. This is literally all you do. For a while, I didn't even know you had to do this, and I figured it out by accident. But by the time I did figure it out, I was just about dead anyway. And I didn't know how to dodge his head good enough, even though it's the same pattern. Because sometimes I'll just spit them out way faster. Which I'm okay with, because it actually slowly, like, it kills him faster. We'd be pretty on brand to beat this boss with only one health, which is what I've been doing a- Oh! Oh god! Yeah, I think I know why I kept dying. He spits him out way faster! Oh, my spin attack is still reliable when my weapon energy powers down. The only annoying thing is you have to watch this every time. I think when you get to like the uh, second part of the, the phase, or second part of the fight, just start maybe jabbing, because that deflects it too. Like, I don't know, like, uh, his attack power or attack rate is governed by how much damage he takes. Or it could just be some random force at play, and wow, I won. But I think I almost beat him the first time. What? Oh, there's another phase to this. This one, it looks like it's pretty simple. The projectiles actually give you plenty of warding. They'll still hurt, of course. And because there's so many of them at once, you might experience some slowdown. Oh, God. You just gotta hope you don't have, like, a bad pattern where they're gonna go everywhere you could possibly go and there's no way to dodge them. So it's not a bad fight. It's just a little lengthy. 
First phase is simple, second one is just as simple. But because bosses have like a ton of health, it's just long. And after a while, you just figure the fight out. And Wait, why is the victory music the game over music? Is this bad ending? <laughs> Does this game have a bad ending? Where will you go? I must return to the fight. Great soldier, your forces are gone. Please stay here. The legend of Emoto lives on only as a myth, but not for sleepy Tengumura. And that's it! That's, uh, Musia for the Super Nintendo! So what do you guys think about this game overall? I'm starting to think I liked it more as a kid than I did now. Like, looking back at it, this game did not age well in any way whatsoever. Like, I thought some things were good, like having, you know, special abilities, you could power up your weapon, and all that kind of jazz. Like, I like, you know, Japanese mythology, and there were a lot of demons that were based on Japanese mythology, like the Tanuki and the Kappa, and among many others. But I just felt like the gameplay was really sluggish. And like, hard for the sake of being hard. Like, I would have wished, like, if once you got your new armor, it would have meant more, but it didn't. It just felt kind of pointless to me. And they're saying like, oh, your spear is powered up too, but was it really? I didn't notice any new power up to the spear. Like maybe its default power just has a like one bit more starting range, but that's it. But anyway, I'm really glad I was able to beat this game. Like, you know, maybe there was an asterisk for some bits of it. But you, you can't blame me for that one. That game is ridiculously difficult. But I guess one other criticism. You have unlimited continue, so what's the point of a life system? If your score doesn't even reset. But anyway, I've talked about this long enough, so this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.